I'm April Hedinger. Our top story tonight, it's the final push before Election Day in America. And today the Trump campaign held another rally in Yuma. Our team coverage begins with Cody Lee, who spoke to Senator McSally during the event. Hey April, Donald Trump Jr. along with several Arizona GOP politicians, including Martha McSally, came out to Yuma, the Yuma Fairgrounds, for a campaign rally for the president. And there was no holding back their thoughts about Democrats and Joe Biden. It's the last stop to Yuma for the Trump campaign just two days before the election. This time, the president's son spoke to a large crowd at the Yuma County Fairgrounds. That's why we have to fight. And that's why my father needs fighters like Martha and just straight down the ticket. By the way, honestly, even your state houses, even your legislators, all of those things matter. Because, frankly, for a lot of you in the states, that matters more than anything. Because those are the policies and the ridiculousness that you see on a daily basis. Senator Martha McSally introduced him leading up to his speech. McSally tells me her final pitch to Arizonans before Election Day. I'm asking Yuma for your vote and get out to vote. If you have an early ballot, please return it to a polling place on Tuesday. Uh, if you haven't voted yet, make a plan, bring your friends and family, get out there and vote. This is a dead heat race. So if you care about economic opportunity, keeping taxes low, safety and security, for your family to include border security and stopping the radical left from taking over our country, then I'm asking for your vote. We need you to get out and vote on Tuesday. It's going to be a close election. It's all about turnout now. The senator also reassuring that she does not want to see taxes go up. People need to understand, I cut your taxes working with President Trump. On average, $2,000 per Arizona family, doubling the child tax credit. Small businesses got a cut of 40%. Single moms, 70%. A family of four, their first dollar they pay in federal taxes because of our tax cuts is when they make $60,000. Donald Jr. also touching on his father's claims to bring back the economy. Donald Trump, a little different. He signed the front of a paycheck, not just the back. He's created businesses. Now, I just talked about it. He wasn't just a community organizer. He actually did this stuff in the real world. So he did a little abracadabra, and now we have it. And April, before coming to Yuma, Donald Trump's oldest son was in Nevada and Las Vegas and Reno. Tomorrow, he will be in Scottsdale, and the campaign is definitely pushing people to go out and vote on Tuesday. Reporting in Yuma, Cody Lee. Thanks, Cody, and continue.